Welcome to the Dungeon Architect video tutorial series. Dungeon Architect is a procedural level generation system. It provides you with a rich set of tools to design and build your own levels both in the editor and at runtime. Install Dungeon Architect from the package manager and when you're done you would see the code respawn folder with all the Dungeon Architect content inside of it. The so Dungeon Architect comes bundled with a lot of samples and you also have a sample browser that you can access from the Dungeon Architect menu, go to Dungeon Architect Launchpad. So you open up the launchpad and here you see that it allows you to create a new scene pre-configured with any one of the many builders that come with it. So a builder is a layout generation method and you have many different layout generation methods. For example, you can create a city, you can create uh, a dungeon, you can create a floor dungeon and we will touch on each one of these. So navigate to the samples category and you have different samples for different types of builders you can go ahead and explore each one of these so for example we are let's go to the grid flow game sample now here you can navigate to the folder where it is you can open this scene directly by clicking on this button or you could clone the scene uh, the advantage of cloning it is that you can you're free to go ahead and modify the the scene files or any data files inside of it without worrying about modifying the source content in the sample folder so we're going to go ahead and clone it and here it's going to ask us for a location where we'd like to clone it so let's create a new folder let's call it gf game and place it here now let's go over to the to the scene file and just hit play and uh, you see that we have a fully playable level and if you look down we have a little mini map so in this uh, this is a procedurally generated uh, level as you saw there was nothing in the scene we just picked up a green key and that will help us open the green door and everything that you see in this scene that was spawned here that was done using something called a theme theme file stop the game and open up the demo grid flow flow file docket somewhere and hit the build button and you see that it generates a procedural dungeon so we were playing inside of one of these dungeons and we used the theme engine uh, which is uh, this thing to populate the dungeon with all of these with these prefabs and meshes so you see the doors and the keys and and the treasure chests and the enemies the foliage trees all of these was used to uh, to actually spawn the items in your dungeon and uh, this was used to to design so you're you're going to be designing these nodes and then configuring them so that it eventually generates your dungeon in this and transfers it over to a tile map we will touch on all of these later on but for now we're just giving you an overview so every time you hit build you get a new dungeon you can also walk through it and see how it was built so we went ahead and added a bunch of nodes like these uh, and then we added a few enemies on each of these nodes and each of these nodes will eventually turn into a room or a corridor or a cave and then finally we create a tile map out of this so you see this corresponds to this and then we create a bunch of uh, foliage trees rocks and then merge them together and finalize it so this is what you were uh, this is what you saw in the mini map so we can use this for mini maps as well so this system is called grid flow system it uh, uh, it allows you to design your design the flow of your dungeons open the launchpad and uh, let's have a look at go to the samples category and look at the shooter demo switch over to the scene view and hit play so this is a game sample that uh, that uses the grid builder so this is one of the earlier builders so this sample shows you how to create a top-down game it also has AI and PC so if I switch over to window AI navigation Uh, if 
sacrifice the jewel to be navigation. Right, so here I go to the big section and switch over to the scene view. You see that the uh, the dungeon was generated on the fly and then the navigation was also created created on the fly at runtime. Now let's go ahead and explore another builder called the Snap Grid Flow Builder. So this is a uh, very powerful builder that allows you to design individual rooms as prefabs and then it stitches these rooms together based on the uh, flow graph that you have designed. So previously we have seen the uh, Grid Flow Builder where we had the flow system that we've designed in a 2D grid and that was eventually later transferred over to a tile map. Uh, this is somewhat similar but it works on 3D and it doesn't work on a tile based system like the one we've seen previously. It works on a room based system so each node, uh, so you design an individual room and then you specify the connection points and uh, the system will take care of stitching them together. Uh, and then you also have support for key locks, uh, support for rooms that span more than one node like these ones you see here. So let's look at this, uh, clone this into a certain folder, save it. So this is going to open up the, the uh, snap grid flow editor. So the top section is similar to what you've seen with the grid flow builder. Uh, but down here we have a 3D viewport uh, that tells you how the rooms would be stitched together. So again we'll, we will touch on these in detail in the later sections but this is a quick overview of what can be done. So uh, you know you can create some really nice interesting uh, levels and let's switch over to the scene view and and select the dungeon game object and hit build so you see that this is built out dungeon and each one is a you also have a debug view of the uh, of the flow graph that you've seen uh, you can turn this off by turning this off but changing this would give you a totally different dungeon so i've designed my boss room the final room that we come in as a 2x2 2 by 2 by 2 so you come from here you fall down and you fight the final boss here so somewhere in this room there's a spawn room you have alternate paths to reach the goal you have key locks you have treasure rooms uh, uh, quite a lot going on you also have lifts like these modules that allow you to move from one floor to another so uh, one thing to keep in mind is that the artist has complete control on what they put inside these rooms Right, so this is a great blend of procedural and uh, artistic control. So this also has some gameplay logic. So when you hit play, this is going to build a, this is just going to call dungeon.build uh, and then it's going to place the player in the spawn room. So here's our spawn room. We have a first person controller and uh, on the bottom left you see the inventory slots for holding the key similar to what we've seen in the previous uh, in the previous grid flow demo uh, you also have one-way doors one-way doors are useful because if you have a locked door one-way doors make sure that you don't bypass that lock and enter through another path like in this case so you can go around pick up the keys and you've designed how the keys show up how the paths show up all of that in the uh, uh, in the flow designer. So let's stop this and have another look at the uh, grid flow graph. Uh, and then we are going to select this, assign the module database. The so module database contains the information of how the rooms look like, and it's as long as you've designed it here in the preview, it's going to use that to. Uh, build the graph based on how you design your room. So again, we will touch more on this later on uh, You can select these and see how this was built So initially we created the main path uh, We added another alternate path so that we can reach through this and we have a, one more alternate path here We've said that uh, in the configuration we said go ahead and start 
emit out of the orange path and join back into the green path so you have control on that and then we are spawning enemies here uh, and then add a bunch of key logs you can do more here right? uh, but this is a simple example now let us explore another sample called the snap builder the so snap builder is uh, it uses another tool set called graph grammars and this is another way of designing your the, the, designing the layout of your dungeons and levels so go over to the samples and click on the snap demo clone the scene and this is going to open up the snap flow editor so the snap flow builder works on something called graph grammars so what it does is you design rules and these rules are uh, eventually left and right mapping so you have the left hand side of a rule and then the right hand side of a rule and the start rule will always be your s node and then here you would specify your high level layout of your dungeon so my high level layout is I start with a spawn room I'm going to branch out to a few room graphs and then I'm going to have a mini boss guarding the key and I have another mini boss guarding the treasures a teleporter to jump around and finally the boss room uh, which requires a key and then the exit uh, so here you have room graphs they will be ex uh, expanded to uh, to a random set of room nodes uh, which we will do in another rule so we have another rule called grow rooms so here we have the room graph which either expands to a room in front of it or expands to a room branching out of it so we'll see this more in detail later on uh, we have another room that converts the that inserts a corridor between the rooms so what you're going to do is once you've designed them you're just going to drag drop them into the execution graph and link them up uh, and then see how many times you want to run it uh, and then when you run it you get a graph like these uh, and each of these nodes like the corridor nodes the room nodes the mini boss node they correspond to a prefab that you have mapped onto your dungeon object so this prefab would be a, a complete room and it will take care of stitching these rooms together so this is what it does you use this graph to define you use these rules to define the graph and this graph is used to stitch those rooms together so we have something like this here So this is following the exact same uh, the, the same layout rule that we've de designed over here. But every time you run it, you get a different dungeon. So uh, you have infinite variations of the dungeons that honor the, the rule set that you've defined. You have a lot of other builders as well, so feel free to explore them. In the next video we will look at how to design our own dungeon from scratch and we will also create a theme file and we'll look at how we could use our own assets to populate our dungeon.